Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chini. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this budget satba jollof rice and beans. So, guys, let's just get right into the video. So, for this video, I'm going to be using chili pepper. In Nigeria, we know it has shown but I'm also going to be using some fresh tomatoes and I'm also going to be adding in some scotch burner pepper for extra heat and then I'm just going to blend all of this together. Next, I'm going to be adding a little bit of ginger and garlic. And then in the pot of boiling water, I'm going to be parboiling our rice. So guys, I basically just parboiled the rice for about 3 to 4 minutes. Next, we're going to be pouring the blended tomato mix into a pan and we're going to be steaming this till the water is completely dried. And this is our rice after it has boiled for about 3 to 4 minutes. Just going to take this out and rinse it properly. Also, in another pot of boiling water, we're going to be adding in our already selected beans. We're going to be parboiling it as well for about 2 to 3 minutes. After about 2-3 to three minutes, we're going to be draining this and we're going to wash the beans properly. Then we're going to add the beans back into the pot. This time, we're going to be cooking the beans until it's 80% done. Your beans should be soft but not mushy, okay? Then we're adding some chopped onion to help the cooking process to make it soft faster. This is our tomato mix. As you can see, it's almost completely dried. So guys, the beans has been cooking for a while now and we're going to be checking to see if it has softened. So you just have to grab a spoon and then scoop up some beans and you know try to press it with your finger. Once your beans is like this is ready, so you're just going to drain out the water through a sieve. Then in a pot, you're going to add some vegetable oil, heat it up. Guys, never took light at this point. I was so so sad. So this is my setup. I had to use torture, honestly. I even lost some. Oh my god, it was really terrible. But we move on. So I added some vegetable oil. And then I'm going in with some chopped onion. Sorry, water got into the onion. That's why you could see the splash. So I'm just going to fry this for about 30 seconds. Then we're going to be adding in some curry powder and thyme to add some flavor to the oil. Next, I'm going to be going in with some tomato paste. And we're going to fry this for about 2-3 to three minutes. So guys, it's very important to stir this continuously so the tomato paste doesn't get burnt. And once you observe that you fried it completely and there's no more sour taste from the tomato paste, then you can go in with the already blended tomato mix which has been steamed. Next, we're going to be adding in some dry fish. Of course, this is Saba <laughs> Jollof. So at this point, you can add your meat stock. But if you don't have meat stock, you can just go in with water, which is what I just did here. So I just stir this in. Next, I added in some fish seasoning into this. I also went in with some all-purpose seasoning. I went in with bay leaves, you know, gives it an amazing taste. Stock cubes and a little bit of salt. And we're going to stir this and allow it to boil for about 2 to 3 minutes. So guys, after about 2 to 3 minutes, we're just going to stir this to make sure everything is well combined. And then we're going to be going in with our already parboiled rice which has been washed. And next I added in the beans which has been cooked, 80% cooked. And then I'm just going to stir this in, make sure everything combines properly. Next, we're going to be adding in a little bit of water, just enough to be above the rice and beans. We don't want to add a lot of water. Remember, guys, it's the steam that does the job and not so much water, okay? Next thing, I added some blended crayfish, and I'm going to be cooking this on medium heat, okay? 
so guys after a while you're going to check in on this and once you observe that the water has gone down you're going to you have to reduce your heat to the lowest so that the steam can now properly cook the jollof rice and beans okay so guys that's the trick you're going to keep checking this at intervals to make sure that the water has dried up completely you could also stay it at this point So guys, I really really apologize for the lighting in this video. I had no choice. I was at the point of giving up but I just had to, you know, continue the video. So please forgive me. So guys, um, that's pretty much it. You check that intervals and then once you're satisfied that the water has completely dried up the jollof fries and beans, your food is ready. You could also check for salt at this point. I checked for salt and everything was just perfect so right now our food is ready this is what you usually prepare in school once I prepare rice and beans I'm good to go <laughs> so guys um that's all for this video thank you so much for watching up to this point if you're not yet subscribed kindly hit on that subscribe button please support my channel okay and if you have any recipe you want to see me upload please just do well to let me know right so guys um i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye